One take, let's get it done. The Portuguese want spices. There are no spices in Portugal. Sad. They want spices from India. In order to get to India, they have to go around Africa. In order to go around Africa, they have to set up a whole bunch of trade outposts along the coast, including a place called Angola. The Portuguese are also in competition with the British and the French and the Dutch and the Belgians and the la la la. Fast forward a few hundred years, 1950s, 1960s, a whole bunch of these colonies are getting their independence from their former colonial masters, including Angola. In Angola, there are three rebel groups, the MPLA, the FNLA, and UNITA. And they all hate each other, but more importantly, they hate the Portuguese. This is the height of the Cold War, though, so there's a lot of tension between commies and capitalists. The U.S. is giving a lot of money and weapons to Portugal because Portugal is a NATO ally. But at the same time, the United States does not uh, support colonialism. And as part of this Cold War struggle, they want to have influence in Africa. But guess what? USSR and China also want to have influence. Now, the USSR and China are at each other's throats also, so it's a three-way conflict over the fate of Angola. The United States is giving money and weapons to Portugal, but they're also giving money and weapons to the FNLA. But the FNLA are also receiving weapons and money from the Chinese. The FNLA are also getting money and weapons from South Africa. South Africa is an apartheid state run by a white min minority who is super-duper racist, which is kind of ironic. The MPLA is getting money and weapons from the Soviet Union and as well as Cuba. In fact, Cuba sends 30,000 ground troops to help the MPLA. UNITA is getting weapons and money from the United States as well. FNLA is also getting weapons and money from the Congo. The Congo is getting weapons and money from the United States. And all three of these rebel groups are fighting each other and they're also fighting the Portuguese. The CIA says the MPLA would be best suited to run the country after the war, but the MPLA are receiving more money and weapons from the Soviets and those are communists. And so the CIA is shunted aside by the Ford administration. Anyway, Portugal decides to leave and says whoever is in control of the capital gets to control the country. So now there's this mad dash for the capital. When it's realized that the MPLA was going to win, the FNLA and Unita put aside their differences and start to work together. There's also a hundred Portuguese mercenaries that are hired by the FNLA. So the Portuguese are giving more weapons and money to the FNLA and Unita. Anyway, there's this whole big battle. MPLA ends up winning. Big victory for the Soviets. The Soviets say, huzzah, we won! And the MPLA says, Nah, we'll be allies with the U.S.